Good afternoon, St. Gabriel parishioners and all visitors to this website. Thank you for joining me today. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a haircut today. Yeah, I look much better and I feel much better now. It's been a long time since I've gotten a haircut, but I did get one today. So today I plan on doing the midday afternoon prayers from the Liturgy of the Hours. This is something I've done before. I haven't done a whole lot. If you would like to join me, I use the iBrevary app uh, when I'm doing these prayers. And I will give you a minute or two if you want to pull that up on your uh, phone or, or uh, desktop or whatever. It's a, uh, I think it's a good um, version, and I use it every single day. We as deacons are um, asked to pray the Liturgy of the Hours every day. Uh, there are actually six times when you can pray. Um, we are asked to pray both the morning prayers and the evening prayer every day, uh, and then anything else is a bonus. So today we're going to be doing the mid-afternoon Liturgy of the Hours. So we shall begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Uh, I don't have the voice right now to sing the sing the hymn, so I will recite the hymn. Most ancient of all mysteries, before your throne we lie. Have mercy now, most merciful, most holy trinity. When heaven and earth were still unmade, when time was yet unknown, you in your radiant majesty did live and love alone. You were not born there, was, was no source from which your being flowed. There is no end which you can reach, for you are simply God. How wonderful creation is, the work which you did bless. What then must you be like, dear God, eternal, lovingless? Most ancient of all mysteries, before your throne we lie. Have mercy now, most merciful Trinity, most holy Trinity. We go down to the mid-afternoon uh, psalmology and uh, prayers. The Lord has done great things for us. He is the source of all our joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out. They go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back. They come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice, which we have sown in tears, grow and increase in your sight. May we reap in the joy the harvest we hope for patiently. The Lord has done great things for us. He is the source of all our joy. 
May the Lord build our house and watch over our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of a man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateway. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God, though the farmer is unaware. Grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower not with human tears, but with those of your Son. May the church rely only upon your gifts. May the Lord watch over our city. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands, you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem. On Israel, peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give lasting happiness, Lord, to those who reverence your name, so that our life and work may be such as to deserve your commendation, and bring us laden with good fruit to our everlasting home. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The reading is from Galatians. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, endurance, kindness, generosity, faith, mildness, mildness and chastity. Since we live by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's lead. Lord, show me the path I must follow. Let your Spirit guide me to my true home. In our closing prayer, let us pray, Lord, help us to follow the example of your Son's patience and endurance. May we face all of life's difficulties with confidence and faith. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give thanks to him. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for the midday, uh, mid-afternoon Liturgy of the Hours. It is something different. I know it's uh, something new to a lot of you, but those of us in clergy are fairly familiar with it. Um, I thank you for joining me, and if you got to me late, look, hey, I got my hair cut today, and I feel wonderful now. It's a, it's a great thing. So have a great day, and God bless you all.